life. Next, we're going to take a look at a character and think about what is this character about to say? What did he just say? What is he thinking? And then we're going to put those words into a contemporary hyphenated adjective. So here's an example of what I mean. Grandpa gave me that go to your room right now look that made me realize there would be no negotiating my 9.30 bedtime. Now, what I did with him was I thought, what does he look like he's saying? Well, he looks like he could have just said, go to your room right now, or get off of my lawn. He certainly isn't very happy. So you can take whatever it is that you think he's saying, put hyphens in between those thoughts, and then have it modify either the word look or the word expression, and you've got yourself a contemporary hyphenated adjective. Now, 930 is also a hyphenated adjective, but that's a traditional one. Those are the kinds that you see most of the time. 930 bedtime, also modifying a noun. It's an adjective modifying a noun. You could talk about antecedents, but I don't think you have to. I think you can show students this kind of sentence and they'll just fly with it. Now here's a, another picture of a girl. You would ask the students, what do you think she might be thinking? Or what do you think she might be saying? Or what do you think she just said? In this case, she says, Carolyn's I'm so happy to meet you expression made me relax during a not so relaxing interview. Now this time I used two different contemporary hyphenated adjectives, one telling you about the traditional word expression and one telling you about interview. Now as soon as you do a lesson like this, then you're going to take the pictures or the illustrations that you used in your actual lesson and then put some samples underneath of, in this case, hyphenated adjectives. So they're going to connect the man and the girl to the hyphenated adjective, and it'll just make be a nice connection for your visual learners. One of the things that separates the Common Core state standards from other state standards is its emphasis on spiraling. So let's say that three weeks ago, we were working with proper nouns. Two weeks ago, we were working with hyphenated adjectives. And last week, we were concentrating on commas and parentheses. This week, we're going to bring them all together in a single piece of writing. So students, if they decide to work with a girl, they're going to choose between Angelina Fox and Yolanda Graves. If they want a boy, they're going to choose between Trevor Locke and Eugene Smedley. For hyphenated adjectives, they can select 1230 curfew or 22 people. And last, they're going to select without hesitation, comma, or my favorite, in parentheses. Mm -hmm.